Behind me is beautiful Lake Simcoe, absolutely pristine this morning. This is where I took out on the raft packing trip. Over there is the inn that I stayed at. And today we find out if this electric dirt surfer build has legs and see if it can hack it on an actual backpacking trip. It is super sketchy to be riding this thing with a 40 pound backpack on, but we are doing it. Slow and steady wins the race on this one, I think. Uh, gotta work on my dismount a little bit. I've developed a way to uh, walk this thing without actually uh, having to carry it. I do not have enough confidence on this thing yet to ride in a bike lane right next to the road. So I'm walking it up and over this bridge. But once we get to the other side of the bridge, it veers off onto a rail trail and then we're pretty much golden. You'll have to excuse the traffic noise. But here's Lake Kuchiching. If you remember, on the last episode of uh, Mike's TCT Adventures, I took my electric raft through here. And basically continued along Lake Simcoe for two kilometers. And then right where that beach is, where we started off there, I took out, stayed at that inn. And here we are with the dirt surfer, pick it up right where we left off. Here we are, the rail trail. From here we can actually ride. Uh, as long as I maintain a nice cruising speed and I don't lean too far to one side, it's pretty stable. And these rail trails are nice and wide. Gives me lots of margin for error to make sure I'm steering straight without leaning too hard. Electric dirt surfer backpacking. Is this a world first? Has anyone ever actually gone backpacking on a dirt surfer before? I might be doing something no one has ever done before. That's pretty cool. Falls right in line with my second mission statement for Mike of the Woods. Invent new ways to go adventuring on EVs. And here we turn. Oh wow. Check out this water. It's a lot of effort to stay balanced on this thing. Hill climb test. Can it climb this hill? <laughs> no, it cannot. This is what this thing was built for. Gravel trail. We come out here. And now we cruise on this dirt road for a hot minute. Had to make a pit stop. Riding this thing for any extended period of time is really rough on the calf muscles. <laughs> you have to balance on that thing a heck of a lot more than you do a skateboard, especially at slower speeds. Ah, skate park. This is why it's called a dirt surfer. This is what I'm talking about. From here, we start on this rail trail and we follow this rail trail pretty much all the way to our campsite. We're out of the uh, main part of the city now, which is nice. Oh yeah, this thing cruises gravel rail trail. What I like about gravel rail trail is it's nice and smooth, well graded, no steep inclines or declines. It's well maintained, so there's not a lot of potholes or washouts. Exactly the type of terrain that this electric dirt surfer was built to tackle. Whereas my electric skateboard would be driving me nuts trying to tackle this, this just floats over it. World's first backpacking trip on an electric dirt surfer. Let's go! Yeah, it's nice and cruisy now. The only uh, thing that's really slowing me down is uh, these crossings, uh, at which point I have to stop and dismount because uh, you know I can't come to a complete stop on this thing. Cross the road, get myself into position to launch again, and then launch. Oh. All right. And the lower the battery gets, the less torque it has from a standstill, meaning I gotta put more effort into uh, actually getting this thing going. All right, get myself positioned, full throttle and push, and away we go. So you can see on the map here, it shows the exact rail trail that we're taking. This is all part of the TCT. Comes up, 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 passes through cold water, through Festerton, and right where Festerton is, is the campground that I'm planning at staying at, assuming they have some uh, sites available. We are moseying on along here. I'm starting to get more used to riding this thing, so it's not taking as much out of me.
couldn't have asked for a better day. It's a perfect temperature, not too hot, not too cold, right in that time frame of September where it's starting to shift into autumn, but not quite yet. This is the twin track that I was looking at when I was scouting it out on Google Maps and I was worried it was gonna be a lot more rough shape than this. Pretty smooth, not a big hump in the center uh, in between the two tracks. Yeah, now it's starting to get a little bit more rough. The uh, tracks are a little bit more rutted. We're slowing down to an absolute crawl here. I think our first battery is just about had it for the day. Uh, how convenient, a bench. All right, we're gonna take a break here. Really got to work on my dismount. Ooh. Ah, it feels good. Uh, we're making really good progress. It's, uh, yeah, it's 11.30 and I'm probably halfway there. Yeah, once we got onto these gravel rail trails and I can just cruise, it has been a lot more easy going. Still getting fatigue in my calf muscle. Every time I stop and take a rest, I'm able to go on a longer and longer stretch before I have to stop and uh, give it a rest. Should definitely put some sunscreen on too, because uh, it's getting a little roasty toasty out here. No word of a lie, that backpack is probably 45 pounds if I had to guess. So unfortunately, because the battery compartment is a little too small on the Dirt Surfer, we can only hold one battery in there at a time, which means I have to cart around two batteries in my pack. We did about 16 kilometers off that first battery, so that's not bad. I'll swap over to this bad boy. Oh, all right, so pop this. Remove this battery. Insert the new guy. And we put the lid back on. There. Now we're good for another 14, 15 kilometers. All right. Let's see if we can crush this last 20 kilometers. Excellent. We're back to full width gravel rail trail. None of this twin track. All right. Nice. More twin track, my favorite. Yep, oh, slowly but surely, we're making our way there. Once I get to cold water, uh, I think I'll call ahead to the campground and see if they got any uh, tent spots left. Once I come to a stop, I can't really get going again until I have something solid to push off of, like these gates. So when they're uh, a little bit up the road from uh, where I have to stop to cross the road, <laughs> a little bit of hiking involved. It's just that I'm getting uh, pretty tired, especially in the legs, and uh, I don't want to gas myself too hard and then suffer for it tomorrow. Not to tempt fate, because this thing could break over the next 100 kilometers, but uh, so far, it is exceeding my expectations quite considerably. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a tough thing to ride. I don't see myself doing any more than 40, 45 kilometers in a day with it. But it's definitely an interesting way to get around. Lots of time in the day, it's only one o'clock. I still got five hours before I need to worry about the sun setting. We've emerged out onto a trail, which seems to be some sort of park. There are people are parking everywhere. But we're about to pass into a cold water. It's actually 
super busy here right now. Like I saw a sign that said there's a fair on, but it is jam packed in this tiny little town, man. Look at this. <laughs> you think we were in downtown Toronto? Every time I see a creek like this, I wonder if I could float my, my uh, raft down it. Right here, looks as good as place as any to stop, take a break, and uh, phone about the campsite. Oh. <laughs> the belt on these broke, so I'll have to swap this out for an actual belt when I get home. Now, let's have to like tie it. I don't know if that'll even work. Uh, hi, do you have any uh, tent sites? Oh uh, no, I just RVs and stuff. Okay, thanks anyways, man. Uh, I hate when that place advertises camping and they don't have any tents. It's... Uh, hi, do you have any uh, rooms open for the night? Ah, dang. Okay, cheers. Just not having luck. Alright, still camping it is. Alright, this battery's bought it. We're done. This is the solution I've come up with for my belt issue. It's not perfect, but it'll do. So this must be the Festerton campground that uh, does not do tent sites, unfortunately. But after this, I think we have our potential stealth camp area. Well, I'm at this little junction. Uh, this is where the highway is. And I scout out some potential stealth camp locations here. Well, it's not very removed from the path, but it just might do. There's the fence there. If I set up in here, might actually have a good spot, but uh, a little too close to that trail. I'm gonna shed some time first. Okay, we have a plan. It's not a perfect plan, but it'll do. Got a uh, place to set up shop, I'm gonna go charge up my batteries and by the time that's done it should be prime time to come and get all set up there's the timmies go there get all charged up and go set up a uh, stealth camp all charged up and good to go now I'm gonna make my way to my little hidey hole. Coast is clear. All right, we have home for the night. The only thing I'm concerned about is being seen by passing cars up on the uh, bridge there. Not much traffic on the footpath. And as long as I stay low, they can't, uh, they can't see me. <laughs> we are really at an angle in here. <laughs> but not much I can do. Okay. <sighs> I'm not going to put the tarp up because there's uh, no rain in the forecast. Worst case, if I feel it start raining, I have to jump out of the tent and uh, drape my tarp over top of me. All right. I'm beat, so I'm going to go to bed. Whew. See you in the morning. I don't think I was alone in the area, if you catch my drift. Uh, I'm starting to get a little worried. Already this morning, my legs are feeling kind of jelly, because if I can't stay in control of the board, that's pretty dangerous, so. This ride certainly doesn't lack reviews, that's for sure. I uh, had to make a field repair of the bottom of my tent with some duct tape. Oh man, that was rough. It was like carrying it up a mountain. It's not even 11 o'clock yet, and I am absolutely destroyed. Thinking I'm gonna bail out at my next charging stop. 